Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be talking about my guild and community Bushido and why I feel we're currently the strongest guild in Infinite Magic Raid. Now I know some people will probably consider that to be a bit of a controversial statement. So let me just clarify exactly what I mean when I say number one or the strongest and why I'm saying that. Because don't get me wrong, the other top guilds at the moment, namely Mystic and Bulls Prime, are both very, very strong. And each GVG is insanely close. When it comes to huge individual players with massive account powers, these guilds are really up there. Players like Klee, Bailey, and Lord Eric are practically mythical when it comes to IMR terms. These are the top, top huge players that most people interested in IMR's endgame PvP know about, and the ones that are usually going to be winning Ultimate Division Championship and have done multiple times. But with all that being said, Bushido have managed to win pretty much every GVG for the last few months. Mystic still have the number one total point score with a massive gap between us and Bulls. However, that's because they've been the number one guild for pretty much the entire span of the game's lifespan. And as such, they managed to accumulate a crazy big point total. But we are slowly closing that gap. And because of that, I really do think we're currently the ones to watch. We're currently number one. And we're only getting stronger and stronger each day. So where the fuck did we come from? How did this even happen? For the majority of the game's lifespan, Mystic and Bulls Prime were in contention for the number one spot. Bulls Prime were originally known just as the Bulls, with Kazak the Bull at the front being the most popular CC in the game, and Mystic the powerhouse spearheaded by Lord Eric. At this time, our origins was from a very small guild called Snakes, led by Kanko. Over time we grew stronger, eventually evolving to the Wolf Pack, and then finally merged with Bulls to create a mega cluster called Stampede. A lot of the blueprints for Bushido were made in the Wolf Pack, a giant guild cluster that accepted players of all skill levels, teaching new players how to play and allowing them to climb through each guild. Bulls also had a similar system at the time and so when we merged it essentially created a gigantic community of 10 plus guilds, one that was bigger than the game had ever seen. However, unfortunately due to some internal disagreements, myself and most of the core admin from Stampede left to form Bushido. And at this point we were significantly weaker than the other guilds. We were fourth in the overall structure, behind Mystic, Bulls Prime and One's Hope, and we knew it was going to take a lot of work to climb to get to the levels of the guys at the top with our newfound community. But with that being said, our number one goal was never to be the strongest. We were always confident that that would happen eventually as a byproduct of what we really were trying to push but that wasn't the foundation that the guild was founded on. For us, it was always about creating the biggest, friendliest, most active, and most helpful community in the game. And in doing so, by focusing on that, we also ended up becoming very powerful. So just to clarify some of the differences between ourselves and most of the other top guilds, a lot of the top guilds focus a lot on acquisition, acquiring huge players from other guilds, or merging with smaller guilds and guild communities, taking their top players and integrating them into their top guild to make themselves stronger. For us, this was never an approach we were personally interested in. Since day one, our focus has always been on mentorship, cultivating talent by teaching new players, and we do this the best of any other guild in the game. Our Discord mentor program really set the standard. Thank you to the amazing Taco Cat who is our Discord engineer by the way. Our Discord is so good and she really helped pull all this together. But our mentor program has over 100,000 total messages, which is outrageous for a guild that isn't even a year old. Our mentor team is so talented, works so hard, and has taught so many amazing players the game. In fact, many of the game's past and present top players, such as Apo, Iteron, and Flairy, joined us when we were Wolfpack or Stampede or Bushido as new or relatively new players and through our mentorship have got to where they are today at the top of the game. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we formed our guild structure with guilds for all power levels. So your brand new players or your end game players or anyone in between, we'd have a space for all of them. These players would climb through the guilds as they got stronger 
which gives them a feeling of progression that I think is vital in this sort of game, to feel like you're moving forward and really get people on board with the guild and with the community. We've also found that since many players start the game with us, it's very, very rare that they leave us to join other guilds. And I feel as though, as discussed before, the guilds that focus more on acquisition and mergers tend to be more volatile in this sense. Players are more likely to leave those guilds to join another. Which makes sense to me, because if you've managed to poach a player from another guild, you've sent them a message asking them to leave their guild and join yours, who's to say that they're not going to leave your guild and join another in the future? I think there's a sense of community. I don't really want to say loyalty because I don't think it's that deep, but a sense of community that's cultivated over time that the guilds that focus on merges and acquisition maybe don't have so much. And that's not to say that the way we're doing it is the only way to do it and that our way is better than the other approach because there's definitely advantages to mergers, there's definitely advantages to poaching and, and acquiring players from other guilds, but it just didn't really fit the DNA of our community and it just wasn't something we were interested in, in involving ourselves in. Another advantage of having a large promotion-based guild structure is that we always have players pushing to progress pushing to climb the ladder and move forward and get stronger. There's a sort of competitive spirit. We encourage manual fighting in GVG, we monitor everyone's stats in a spreadsheet, and then we move players up and down the guilds based on their performance. Players will work harder to get into or stay in a top guild, and then if they fall behind or they're not feeling as competitive anymore, we have other guilds that might be a better fit for them. They can join a more casual guild until they're maybe feeling more competitive again in the future. I think another thing to note is we have a lot of younger Ultimate Division players that are already really, really strong, like Flairy, Lirietta, Defiled, Coral Shark, Monkey Magic, and more. Time is one of the huge factors for strength in Infinite Magic Raid. These guys are already competing with those at the top of the structure, despite being five, six months younger than them in some cases. When these guys get more time behind them, like the Server 1 accounts, they're going to be even more powerful, and we're going to benefit a lot from that. Another unique challenge that's affecting Ultimate Division at the moment is that no new players can enter Ultimate Division for around another six months, as they have to go through the new Legendary Division first, which is six months long. And this makes recruitment for every Ultimate Division guild very hard. Luckily for us, however, because we have a huge guild structure to fall back on, when players quit, which is inevitable in this sort of game, we can backfill them with rising talent or with other strong players that want to embrace that opportunity to move up and compete at a higher level. And while thinking of other divisions and the future, we also have the number one guilds in practically every other division in the game that is an ultimate division, with Kunai, Naganata, and our newest Masakari. These guilds have some massive new talent like Aristio, Old Man of the Sea, Musalat, Reborn, that will be able to reinforce Bushido's roster when they reach the Ultimate Division. And this is something unique to ourselves and to Bloodlust, who also have a younger guild called Blood Pact with some strong players. But to summarise all of this, as cheesy as it might sound, I think the true source of our strength really comes from community. We have such a massive community and a Discord that's just as active as the official IMR Discord, despite having less than a hundred times the total members. Everyone is super friendly, helping each other, mentoring each other, or just hanging out. And that kinship has resulted in a super passionate collective that is still growing and getting stronger by the day. I really am over the moon with what we built here and I'm so excited to see it continue to grow. But with all that being said, we're on top at the moment, but that might not last forever. New GVG content's coming soon, and who knows if we'll still be taking the number one spot with a whole new system in place. With Mystic and Bulls being as crazy strong as they are, maybe with a new system they'll be crowned number once again when the new content is released. Who's to say for sure? But with that being said, I must say I am super confident in Bushido's future. I think we're really on the right path and we're well on the way to being the number one guild, not just at the moment, but of all time in Infinite Magic Raid.
Thanks for listening once again, guys. If you're interested in joining our Discord, you don't have to be a member of our guild to join, although you can join one of our guilds if you're interested. Just check out the link in the description. Cheers, have a lovely day, and dog bless. <laughs>